All right, who doesn't like a great pizza? Well, one pizzeria in Springtown, Texas, that usually packs them in, had to turn them away before they were even served, as in closed down for the weekend. Now, before you get all crusty, here's the reason why. You see, a few of the employees at Mr. Jim's Pizza got an idea for a new pizza topping, laxatives. <laughs> yeah, one of them posted on social media that they were putting Miralax on the pizzas that they were preparing. I mean, maybe they could team up with Taco Bell and give whole new meaning to run for the border. <laughs> the city health inspector pulled the business permit of the restaurant. That is until they were able to inspect and clear the restaurant of any further complication or constipation, as the case may be. <laughs> now, Mr. Jim's Pizza stated that the employees involved in this prank have been terminated. I'm sure they have. And for those of you in Spring Hill, Texas, I hope you'll get out to Mr. Jim's and order a pizza. After being shut down, I'm sure that he needs the dough. <laughs> okay. The audience is just now coming to grips with that, I think. Well, on the hills of last weekend's Easter festivities, a woman was being accosted by a drunken man in the downtown Orlando area when who should come to the rescue but a giant Easter bunny. <laughs> Folks, this is truly a hair-raising story. An Orlando promoter caught the whole event on his phone. The lady was defending herself against the drunken man when the knight in fluffy armor hopped to it and came to the damsel's rescue. And then, my friend, the fur was flying. I gotta be wondering if that promoter happens to be an MMA promoter. I mean, he's got an opportunity with this pugilistic bunny, no kidding. And by the way, the police officer who broke things up said, no arrest, our reports were filed. I like that. Don't mess with the Easter Bunny. By the way, when the loser was taken to the emergency room, he was alleged to have said, ah, what's up, doc? <laughs> he really said that, I'm pretty sure. Hey, do you have one of those adult kids still living at home, lying around your house wondering what to do with their life? Well, why not recommend they get paid to lay down and eat all your food up? Okay, here's the deal. NASA and the European Space Agency are looking for some qualified people to lie in bed for two months. Pretty sure that's every teen or college age man or woman in the USA. In return for sharing that skill, they're gonna be paid $18,500. I know what you're thinking. Hey, where was this job in the 70s? Look, I'm with you on that one. Now, the job is based in Cologne, Germany, so you even get foreign travel, but you do need to speak Deutsch. The official name of the study is Artificial Gravity Bed Rest Study. But there is a catch. You have to be a woman, not just identify as one for the two-month job. You actually have to be one. And those hired will have to stay in bed 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 60 straight days. That means no getting up for bathroom breaks, bathing, or meals. You get to do all of them right in the comfort of your bed. I think they'll get rid of those beds after the 60 days. And you have to lie with your head slightly tilted six degrees to recreate the space flight conditions. Now, if volunteers are hoping to get some exercise, no worries. There is a bed cycle and some other fitness equipment that you can use while lying down. Man, this is sounding more and more like a dream job. <laughs> so if you think you can handle it, sign up while you still can. Governor, Governor. Yeah, excuse Keith. Me, excuse me, I, I've yeah. been waiting all night to tell you this. I'm sure you have. Do you know where an astronaut parks his spaceship? I honestly have no idea. Well, of course, at a parking meteor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Audience, you can beat him up later. Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that joke was so bad, they, they didn't did, even did, jump yeah. when you said Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah. It's all in the way you say yeah, it, Keith. Timing is everything. All right, turning to our Florida file, which we seem to have every week. The city of Doral, seeking to improve their level of English for students, asked some contractors to fix their work on a Skull Hall crossing zone. 
That's right, the city of Doral revealed the mistake on social media with the following note. This school zone striping was handled by the developer's contractor. They have been notified and they are working expeditiously to correct it. In a related story, any town traffic signs that say YOLO will be replaced as soon as possible. <laughs> and in the Florida town of Dunedin, a man decided to burglarize a Little League concession stand in the nude. Well, to be fair, he did have on a ball cap and gloves. <laughs> the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office said the naked burglar stole cameras and a cash box with $250 inside and he caused $5,000 in damage. Apparently the concession stand and the burglar both came up a little short. <laughs> the surveillance video also showed the all not trial, the all not trial thief taking a package of hot dogs. I guess he wanted something to go along with his buns. What he should have done is stolen some clothes. Now, authorities have asked, if you see this man, hopefully not all of him, that you avert your eyes and then alert authorities. All right, well, like a bird-free cuckoo clock, we've run out of time, but always remember that we read the news